Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's vlog. I just got ready for my reformer Pilates classes, but before I go, I want to show you what a beautiful, stunning weather we have here today. Look what a gorgeous view it is in the morning. As you can see here, all the boats are kind of in the middle, are taken out in preparation for tomorrow's river fire. It's a huge, massive fireworks show. It's really big, like all, it's all up here and all the bridge is lit up as well. It's like kind of waterfall type of fireworks. So it's a really something to admire and something to see. If you wanna see how the one from last year looked like, you can have a look at my Instagram. I pinned that post to my top post. It was a real. A video that I made featuring how beautiful River Fire Show was last year. Those are best fireworks I've ever seen, better than uh, when I was living in Dubai, when I was living in UK, when I went to see one in London. Really spectacular. What adds to that, it's also observing fireworks from such a up high view and having panoramic view on the city and seeing it going off everywhere that's definitely adds a lot to that because when we are watching fireworks usually it's seeing them up high in the sky uh, since we are watching them usually from ground floor or wherever you are like celebrating new year's or something but seeing them from so 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 high adds a completely different dimension to them like they are blowing off at your eye level that's something very different anyway i have to go now i just got ready for my reformer pilates and when i come back i'm going to show you unboxing of three things one of them being a coach handbag so i am very excited to show you this and two jewelry items i better go now because it's nine o'clock already and my classes start at 9.15 feet check of course because it's very important so here is my outfit of the day just a simple as you see all black I look like a black panther if you've seen my video that I posted last week I was quite unwell I ended up in ICU I was pretty sick but as I said in that video I refused to give up so I, start, I came back to Pilates right after all. Right now I am crossing the street and going to my Pilates and I am filming now as you can see. I'm talking to the camera in the middle of a street like that. And let me tell you, to pull a camera out in public and start vlogging just like this takes a special type of personality to do so, just to talk to your device. The last time I did it was when I used to live in United Arab Emirates and I was traveling the world and going as a flight attendant on my layovers to different cities and that feels kind of different because you feel like you are so anonymous that no one knows you and you feel like oh it doesn't matter I mean here I also feel the type of kind of anonymous that people don't know me of course but I don't know it's just kind of always almost self-conscious to do that as i said it takes certain type of personality in order to be able to do that and let me tell you if you have some reservations you would like to do that you would like to vlog you would like start doing something not necessarily just vlogging start anything that uh, worrying what other people will think or how they will react holds you back from doing so let me tell you one thing that will help you get rid of that worries the truth is no one cares <laughs> you will go out yes yeah, some people will have a glance here and there just to have a look what you are doing but no one cares and so what someone will have a look and go about their day continue with their life trust me it really doesn't matter it's not like you are running around naked <laughs> You are just doing your own thing and everyone is doing their own thing and everyone is up their own head so much that really, really, really it doesn't matter. See, I'm going, I'm walking now 
uh, in the middle of one of the most busy street. There are lots of office workers passing by me, grabbing their morning coffee. There are workers having their morning tea on my left. You will see in the moment and eating. There are plenty of people here. Not so many as during the lunch break would be, but still, it really doesn't matter. So, I hope that this portion of the video will inspire you not to care at all what anyone might think about what you are doing about your life and what you are doing about what you want to do in general whether it's vlogging, whether it's choosing some path that is further from commonly beaten trucks. Just do what you feel like because one day you will do it anyway. One day you will get, um, get to do it anyway and you will only regret it that you haven't done it sooner. So I hope that this uh, portion of the video will inspire you to go after what you want without worrying of how it makes you look and what other people might think. And yeah, that's it. That's a TED talk from me for the morning. And now I have to speed up because I'm walking so slowly, minding my own business. And time is ticking. I booked this Pilates for 9.15 because I think it's just the perfect timing before the heat, before the heat hits. Because here in Australia, recently, I feel like we go from winter straight to summer. Like, there's not even winter, it's, uh, it's autumn, from autumn, from fall, straight to summer. I'm telling you, Australia has like two seasons only. And you see how strong the sun already is at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. And you know, I'm trying to avoid sun at all costs. So... <sighs> That requires getting up early. And it's something different about morning. Mornings are so beautiful, so, I mean, peaceful, depending on what you are doing in life. There were times in my life that mornings were not so peaceful when I had to rush towards corporate job. But they are peaceful now, and I'm trying to make the most out of it and enjoy the beauty of it, because we tend to miss so much of life when we are operating on a stress mode. I think if you suffer with any type of chronic condition, those are the grounds to try even harder for a healthy lifestyle. Like you have obligation towards yourself to be mindful of what you eat, to force yourself to be active and exercise more often, although um, in contrary or ironically this is when you have the least energy or motivation to do so but unfortunately this is when you have to do it even more regardless or otherwise the condition will take the better of you anyway a little bit of a long morning talk but I'm gonna catch you after my workout. really smashed it. It was quite tiring. I've, I felt like I was sweating everywhere, uh, but such a good feeling. You know, I'm not one of those people who 
are excited for a workout, who are looking forward to a workout, who who are happy to get up early and do the workout. Like in contrary to my husband, for example, he is very fit. He works out very often and he likes that. He just have that motivation. Like some people just um, you know, wake up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. I don't know, it, it would have to be some heavy machinery strength type of tools to drag me out of bed at a crack of dawn to do workout, but I mean willingly. But if I force myself, it's the best feeling ever. I feel amazing after. This is definitely worth it. This is the great way of starting the day. I feel so much energy now after I did a workout and I feel very happy and yeah, definitely a different start of the day and just watching the city so beautiful in the morning. By the way, this is the tree that I always wanted to show you. Look at the magnitude of that, how stunning it is. Greenery like this only in Australia. I remember when I was traveling to Australia, I thought that as I walk home, I will film a little bit just to show you the beauty of inner Brisbane city, how stunning the city really is. As you know, I mentioned this so many times. In fact, I am about to film the video, dedicated video about it, about, the, about my experience of living in six different countries so far. So, as I said, I lived in six countries and I traveled to 60 and yet I believe that the city that I live currently in is the most beautiful city I lived in or traveled to. I mean, there are lots of factors to make that conclusion, of course. I believe Warsaw is really, really beautiful as well, hard to compete with, but those are different types of beauty. I also wanted to mention that when I was traveling to Australia for work so many times, mostly to Sydney and Melbourne at the time, I was leaving the hotel around that time as it is now because of a jet lag. So that was the type of timing that I was dragging myself out of bed and hitting the town just to walk around. That was around that time. I was thinking to myself at the time, how beautiful is this street to live in? And how lucky would that be to live in here one day? Of course, I was just looking at it as a wishful thinking, like something that uh, probably Will never happen not, not neither that was my intention really i was living at the time in abu dhabi in united arab emirates which is also a really fantastic place to live and but i was just thinking that that would be so beautiful to live in a country that your neighborhood looks like this and look what happened here i am now living my best life in such a beautiful location. So you never know what opportunity the life will bring at you if you are open to that opportunity, if you are willing to receive anything, any opportunity in life, it may happen. Obviously, I recognize that the area I lived in, it's not everywhere. What, what what Australia looks like everywhere. I am aware that I live in an extremely privileged and fancy area, but nonetheless, it's such a, such a beautiful turn of events that life unfolded this way. It is really what the beauty of life really is about. Now, those are my daily views during my walks.
back home now. Babies, 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 babies. Are you little baby? Did you miss me? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. My beautiful Elvis, my baby. Here is my breakfast after my workout. This is Greek yogurt with mango, strawberries, blueberries, and some raw Australian honey. And here is the coffee freshly made in our espresso machine by my husband. He always makes me morning coffee and it's the best coffee ever. The coffee is great. Oh, my baby boy. I love you. Love you. So I'm back home from Pilates now. It was a very nice, beautiful, full body workout session. The weather outside is also beautiful. So it was a very pleasant long walk to get back home. And I feel refreshed, rejuvenated and healthy and happy again. And I just got ready. I just had a shower, did my makeup and now I'm ready to show you these unboxings that I mentioned to you before. So I have for you a star of today's show, which is my newest coach bag purchase. I'm already gonna tell you it's a bag. So it's the newest addition to my collection. And this is very unexpected purchase. I am pretty sure that you didn't expect this one from me. And on top of that, you for sure didn't see that color coming because this particular color choice is very unusual even to me it's unusual in general but it's unusual to me and yeah I can't wait to show you this because I surprised myself with that choice too and the next unboxing are those two beautiful gifts that I received from the brand Pascal. Pascal is the brand that has wide variety of beautiful jewelry but most interestingly what they have to offer are watches with lab grown diamonds so if you are craving something extra sparkly something extra fancy some touch of luxury with a swiss precision to it pascal is the way to go and they sent me these two beautiful pieces that i'm now going to unbox for you so as you see they both arrive in these nice pretty gifts bags which one should i start with i'll go with that so here is the bag as i said and the box also looks very nice so if you are looking for a nice gift for any occasion for any special person in your life or even yourself if you want to treat yourself and give something extra fancy this is a way to go as well so you open the box like so and there is another box inside the box so i really like this attention to details the packaging is on point up there with all the luxury brands and as you open it's another pouch this is velvety pouch and what it holds inside is dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum, a cocktail ring but it's not your usual cocktail ring it is a watch in a form of cocktail ring so I'll put it on this hand so you can see it better it has adjustable band and it is a watch in fact so it's not just a ring it is a fully working watch the one that I chose was with this beautiful purpley mauve watch face to it, as you can see here. This one already shows the correct time. So it's half past two here in Australia and I really like it. You know, I'm a huge jewelry fan and a huge jewelry collector. I have a whole 
playlist dedicated to my different type of jewelry collections. I have a fine jewelry collection, I have a solid gold jewelry collection, I have a diamond jewelry collection, pearl jewelry collection that has been very popular here on YouTube. I have all sorts of different things. So I, if you are a jewelry fan, I encourage you to have a look at that. You will surely find something good, uh, including jewelry organization videos and there are more coming because I'm actually about to film more jewelry videos soon because I haven't done that in a while and I have ideas for new collections to show you and yeah but that's a thing for another video so if you are new to this channel and you like this type of topics you, lo you love jewelry you love fashion you love luxury and all sorts of things of this kind make sure to subscribe to this channel so you will not miss upcoming videos. Back to the watch. It is such an unexpected combination. It is a watch and it is a ring. What purpose I see this jewelry to be serving? It's a cocktail ring. So for example, you go to the bar to have a drink with your friends and this is such a great conversation starter. Like cocktail rings are called cocktail ring because they are meant to be worn during a cocktail hour and, and I think I mentioned this in the previous jewelry related videos that the reason why it's called cocktail ring is because it's supposed to attract attention. So if you are at the bar and you are looking to attract attention of a bartender, it comes easier if you have something, something shiny, something sparkly, if something of some solid um, magnitude of a size to it. So. This is a great thing and of course you don't have to wear a watch, it's there and definitely this will attract so much attention and so much appreciation. It's a beautifully made watch, it's a great quality, as I said it's a Swiss mechanism to it and not only it will last you a long time but it's just such a joy to look at and it looks so fancy on the hand. I really love jewelry pieces that are unique, original, just different than anything else. If you get a watch like this, the chances are that someone else will have something like this when you go out are small. Before I move to the next piece, which is piece de resistance of today's video, I just want to mention that Pascal has a wide range of products, not only the watches, they have uh, jewelry pieces like necklaces, mm, earrings and all sorts of types of jewelry, but what they do best in my opinion are watches. Before I show you another piece, as I said, I just want to make sure that if you decide to shop with Pascal, make sure you will take advantage of my discount code for you. Because every time I work with any brand, I want to make sure that you can benefit from that too. And with my code Alicia15, you can get 15% off the entire order. So regardless of how many pieces you order, one, two, three, five, you will get 15% off your entire order. Now let's move on to the second piece. So it comes in the bag, same type of bag, similar box and as you open what you see is that beautiful watch so this is the watch that i said before that comes with lab grown diamonds on the side i think it has a very unique design i really love it it's also something very different if you look at the watch face it's not your typical watch face i don't see watches like this around it says pascal in here so there's a great attention to details the thing that is used to wind the watch up also is embellished with a nice stone as you can see it has an oval face embellished with lab grown rubies and there are lab grown diamonds on the side beautiful piece beautifully made comes with a leather strap so this is what the watch looks like let me show you the close-up on my hand i have a very small wrist so as you see strap goes all the way till the face watch again but nonetheless isn't that beautiful <laughs> now i have both of them just to show you how they present i think it's a very elegant piece it reminds me of a classic vintage pieces somehow i don't know why but it just reminds me of 
traveling in Orient Express. Just due to the combination of stones together with the leather rich burgundy color strap just reminds me of those movies. I really like this type of vibe, I really like this type of aesthetic and I definitely will be wearing it with lots of outfits. So that is it when it comes to unboxing of the beautiful additions to my jewelry collection from Pascal. Let's move on now on to very much anticipated, at least by me, unboxing of today's video. I just can't wait to show you how happy I am with this choice of a bag and how different it is to everything I own so far from Coach or in general. So let's do it together. Can you guess what that is? So now you can see the size, which is quite small. And it's here sitting pretty in this dust bag. And what it is, it's my new coach. Still doesn't show fully but you can see the glimpses of the color and down, 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 down. it is my new coach banded in a crossbody size how cute that is i'm wearing this dress not accidentally not without a reason i think it's a great match for this color so as I said, this is coach banded bag, crossbody, in a color pale pistachio. How amazing is this color? So this is from their monochrome collection. Monochrome, which means that all the hardware is the same color as the leather. Same as tabbies that were released last season, they come with a leather covered hardware. This one is just like, I think, plastic but same color as the rest of the bag and all the hardware by all i mean everything so now let me just unbox it properly remove all the wrappings and show you how it looks like in its all full glory it's a beautiful bag when i saw it on the website i was going on and off between the colors I was considering getting it in vivid pink because this particular bag is now available on Coach website in this beautiful pale pistachio, um, canary green and vivid pink. And I was considering getting it in vivid pink because I really, I really regret not snatching Coach quilted tabby in vivid pink. But then again, I'm kind of on the fence about it because I have quite a big pink handbag collection. I already posted a video. I mean, it's not big, it's like a couple of handbags, but I already have a couple of pinks. I will link it in the description box as well. This is the video that I'm talking about. And I thought, do I really need another pink bag? Especially that I also have a coach quilted tabby in dragon fruit, which is here. This is the unboxing of that bag. If you want to have a look at that and my reaction, opinion and review of it. It's here, it will also be linked in the description box along with other coach handbags. If you are a coach fan, just watch all my coach collection in the description box as well. So yeah, I was on the fence between this and Vivid Pink and then I thought maybe I don't need another Vivid Pink. I need something in green and I need something in blue. I also don't have any blue handbag like baby blue. The only blue handbag that I have is Longchamp Le Pliage small top handle bag in a color sky blue. I also have a dedicated video about it, but I don't have any leather handbag in blue and I think they look really, really cool. And pale blue, baby blue, I'm gonna open. <laughs> That's a strong uh, closure. Pale blue and uh, baby blue goes really well with my com complexion, with my skin tone, with my hair. And yeah, I think I need to get something in that. I was considering uh, getting Coach Quilted Tabby in the size 33 in a color gray blue. This is the bag. This is how it looks like. It's amazing. It's so cool. It's quite big to be honest. It's definitely not like 
everyday bag, but maybe for some people it can be everyday bag, especially if you go, go to work with it. Um, honestly, I prefer the size 26 uh, over 20 when it comes to quilted tabbies, and I'm not sure how I would feel about 33, but it looks great. I think it would be so beautiful, so smooshy, so <laughs> luxurious. Like my quilted tabby in 26 is softer than my other tabbies in 20. Somehow that leather is more, it's more rich, or like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's very luxurious feel to that leather. Uh, maybe it's just like because of the color that they use, the dye. Sorry, I'm just talking to you uh, about other bags now as I'm unboxing this one because I just want to show you this beauty in all its glory. So anyway, long story, still long, as you can tell. I finally went for pistachio. I've been inspired by Instagram, YouTube and social media personality. She's, I think, Insta model, Leonie Han, um, Leonie, Leonie. Leonie, I forgot her last name. I will pop her Instagram here so you can have a look. She has a beautiful handbag collection that consists of lots of pop of colors, beautiful, vivid colors, beautiful pastels. It's very rainbow-like, very mood uplifting-like, just like my taste. I don't, I don't go for safe choices when it comes to handbags and she also doesn't. And she has Hermes Constance in that very color that this beautiful bandit that I'm showing you right now is in and it just looks great. It's fantastic. So I thought why not give it a try and pair it with my colorful wardrobe because I also have a very colorful wardrobe and I understand that this color may not be like obvious choice for people who live in Northern Hemisphere. If you live in US or Europe, that would be most likely a seasonal type of handbag that you would make the most wear out of in the summer. But I live in a city that the summer is pretty much all year round. I can wear this type of outfits pretty much all year round. So most of 95% of my wardrobe is summery and I'm pretty sure that I will be using this all year round in my case. So here, this is what it looks like on a long strap worn on the shoulder. I think it's a perfect length just as is. Looks very elegant, very ladylike. Can be also worn cross body, of course. However, I'm not a fan of wearing it crossbody. I would either wear it on a shoulder, as I just did show you, like so, or I'm really tempted to wear it the way as Constance Hermes style. It is like a shoulder bag with a strap doubled like so. I think it looks really cool. I like this style a lot and I'm pretty sure that this will be how I will be wearing it most often. Looks super cool. I love it and it goes so well with my outfit today. All goes well together and complements each other beautifully. Also, what I would like to show you is another way of wearing it, which is maybe not that common for this bag, but I think that due to its size, it's most suitable to carry it this way. I don't know if many people carry it this way, but I imagine myself carrying it as a clutch bag as well, because it's so small that can be held like this easily, like that or like so like so like so <laughs> yeah very cute and you can take it to the dinner with you put it on a table next to you doesn't take much space how stunning is this color i really love this color a lot it's just 
I remember as a child my favorite ice cream flavor was pistachio so that just reminds me of a few good moments that I had growing up. Now let me quickly show you all the features of the bag so starting with comparison the sizes so this is my coach quilted tabby 26 so this is how it is by size as you see that's 26 now this is how it compares to coach quilted tabby 20 almost the same both in length and width and let me show you with a wallet on chain gucci marmon wallet on chain looks similar lengthwise it's actually identical if you look at it and from the bottom but you see they will hold completely different amount of things due to the width so a couple of things i want to mention about this bag that is different than a coach banded bag in a shoulder size as well as this particular bag in this color range is different to regular coach banded crossbody in a regular colors so look how cute coach 1941 tag looks in monochrome looks like a little candy that you would like to eat like a little little toy it looks so cute somehow having the bag in this color also with the monochrome hardware makes it look like a candy it's like a youthful variation on a classic bandit because classic bandit is such a timeless elegant bag that you can have for years and years and years to come if you buy it in the classic color but i think the same for this one if you live in a climate like me and you, if you have a colorful wardrobe but it is such a hip youthful take on the very serious classic i love it the bag has a slit pocket in the back just like the other bandits once you open here is where the difference are of course it's also accordion style like the other it has a slit pocket in here big compartment here and a slit pocket in the back so as you can tell of the bat already there is a difference that this bag doesn't have a pocket in here so coach banded shoulder size as well as crossbody in other colors in the classic colors has a pocket in here which is a flap pocket which is intended to carry sunglasses in general some people i know that they wonder what this is what is this for but it's intended to put your sunglasses in safely so all the bags uh, that comes from monochrome collection don't have this pocket this pouch this flap pocket and i don't know why i wonder why is that because i've seen reviews of people reviewing this bag it's not entirely a bad thing that they skip that pocket in that bag because as you see the bag is relatively on the smaller size so not featuring that pocket leaves more room inside the bag which is not a bad thing it fits comfortably so many things it fits a phone like this you see how much space is left we just grab a couple of things to show you what it fits so here i am back with the bag stuffed to the brim just to show you how much it holds it looks so small but it really fits all your necessities and let me show you what's inside and for that reason i think it's better without that pouch because there's really more room anyway oh my god this closure is so strong that's really strong i hope it will loosen up over time because it's like a little bit like wrestling with the bag since i have opened it while i'm at it i will also show you where 1941 stamp is in this bag because it's in a different place than it is in the regular coach banded crossbody in other colors so i know that for the regular ones it's inside on the pocket on that missing pocket that it's missing in that case but here it's here in that little in that little crease here this is where it is okay so let me show you what fits so in this front pocket in here i put my coach card holder it can fit here in that main compartment what you can find here 
fit comfortably are my recently favorite sunglasses. This, this and this and this together. It's such a cool summery look. This is a vibe. This is like such a European look, don't you think? Love it. It fits my house keys comfortably as well as lip gloss, full size lip gloss, um, lip liner, lip balm. Of course it fits my phone as I already did show you before with my favorite wallpaper, best wallpaper ever. And my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow set. I'm just showing you that this is six eyeshadows and I purely put it for the sake of showing you the sizes. This is how much it fits. So overall, I think it's great. Not to mention that I got it on amazing sale. It was really, really great sale. Now they have end of season sales as well as on top of that, I could apply my American Express sale because shopping with American Express gives you extra discounts. So I benefited of that too. So it all accumulated, giving it amazing value for money. And given that it's in such an exquisite leather, like Coach is famous for this type of leather. I also have idle bag in the same leather and this is the most luxurious the leather can get, trust me. Since I mentioned idle bag when it comes to beauty of the leather, I will also show you quick size comparison of this. So that's idle bag, that's banded in a crossbody size. This is what they look like side by side. So that will be it when it comes to unboxing, review and what's in my bag when it comes to this beautiful crossbody bandit from Coach. If you like this type of videos, I mean luxury handbags, jewelry, unboxing, reviews and all sorts of stuff of this kind, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet so we can see each other more often. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a great day or night, wherever you are, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!